judges, my fellow friends, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Innal hamdalillahi nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruhu wa na'udzu billahi min sururi anfusina wa min sayyiati a'malina may yahdihillahu fala mudhillalah wa may yudlil fala hadiyalah. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'du Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce myself. My name is Fatiha Sadia Maulidina Isnaini and I'm from Manbulaleng. Here, I will deliver the speech entitled The Wisdom of the Prophet's Birthday. The month of Rabiul Awal is the month which is known as the birthday of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The best human being Allah sent to convey the teaching of Islam with gentleness and politeness. Because of this, this month is well known as the birth month, namely the birth month of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ladies and gentlemen, as the people of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, of course this was a very sacred momentum for all the for all the Muslims throughout the world to welcome the birthday of the most noble human being. In this month, expression of love and happiness are shown everywhere. In Indonesia, for example, the expression of love and happiness are shown by celebrating the birthday of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. This celebration is packaged with the reading of the Quran, Salawat for the Prophet, and the reading of the Sirah for the Prophet and all other things related to the history, struggle, and the daily life example of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam while still in the world. All of that was nothing other than a form of love and happiness of the Muslims for the greatest gift Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given, namely the birth of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, the most noble human being and the guide to all humans. This is as emphasized in Surah Yunus, verse 58. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Qul bi fadlillahi wa bi rahmatihi fa bithalika fal yafrahu Huwa khayrum mimma yajma'un Say Muhammad in the bounty of Allah and his mercy. They reign what they rejoice, it is better than what they were. Brothers and sisters, our feelings of love and happiness in celebrating the birthday of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam is not enough if it is not accompanied by our maximum effort to emulate his nature, character, and teachings. Not only just an annual ceremony, but also how we can know his morals and then follow them. In the Al-Quran, Surah Al-A'raf verse 199, it is stated that there are at least three noble characters of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, namely forgiving, forgiving, enjoying goodness, and turning away from those who are ignorant. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim Khudil afwa wa'mur bil urfi wa'arid alil jahilin be gracious, enjoin in what's right, and turn away from those who act ignorantly. There are many stories in Islamic histories that are explaining the forgiving attitude of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. But that's just a few of the great and noble quality of the Prophet Muhammad. Let's make this maulid moment a mean of increasing love and increasing love for the, for the Messenger of Allah. By, by implementing his sunnah and emulating his noble nature. Amin ya rabbal alamin. I'm sorry if there are any mistake. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.